Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Unit Lost. I'm Stylosa and today we're going to try something a little bit fancy. I'm going to attempt to let's play Xenonauts. Now, this is like an ultra hardcore XCOM. It's more hardcore. Well, I guess uh, a strategic planetary defense simulator, I guess is the kind of the genre. Um, it's way more hardcore than the original XCOM ever was. It's obviously a lot more hardcore than XCOM the remake. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through this, but this isn't going to be the standard unit lost crazy let's play. Because number one, we don't have Kirioth, it's just going to be me. And number two, it's going to be actually a serious let's play. I will not be doing stupid things just for the sake of it, as we will lose the game. I don't want to lose the game. I want to see, you know, as far as I can possibly get. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to need you guys to comment after you've watched this. Or maybe you get to a point in the video and think, oh, you know what, this is quite good. To let me know if I should continue doing this because I'm only going to record one episode. I'm not going to record a massive batch because if it's not going to work, that would be a waste of time. So let me know, guys, what you think in the comments below. But we're going to we're gonna start this off with a new game. So we're going to go on normal because it is very difficult, guys. Like, very difficult. Um, and uh, we're not going to bother with any other options. We're just going to go straight into it. So... We want the explanatory tooltips on Iron Man mode. Uh, it kind of doesn't matter because I'm not really going to load the game. If, if I lose troops, I'm not going to reload the game and back to get them back and such. So we'll just leave that off. So for all intents and purposes, it will be Iron Man. But it'd be easier for me to be able to save the game during missions and stuff to stop the recordings if that's when I kind of need to end the recording in case it's getting too long. So let's do it, guys. Let's begin game. All right. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to read this because obviously I've read that before. So the first thing we need to do is select a base, well, a primary base location. Now, there's a couple of things we need to take into consideration. And the first thing is I need to take a drink of tea. So one moment. Oh, baby. So if we shoot a UFO down over the ocean, it will go into the ocean, which means we cannot send out a... Uh, a landing party to go and recover whatever the hell was in the alien ship or just go and kill the aliens um, and get various bits and bobs. So really, we want to have a base which covers the most amount of land. So you could say, well, I guess you could put it there, Stye, North America, kind of in Canada somewhere. I could. The problem is, though, okay, that only covers one region, right? So when I highlight over a, a section of the globe, so this is North America, you can see it's green. That means I'm only going to get funding from that area of the globe, okay? Uh, and I'll get it from Central America if I place the base there because it kind of covers Central America as well. So that's two regions, so that's not that great. Well, what about if I put it right in the middle of Central America? I mean, I think that's somewhere in Mexico-ish, around that area. Well, I'd get three regions, but again, there's a lot of sea there, so it's going to be a bit of a problem. So I'm not going to do that. Um, as much as I'd like to put the base in England, that is kind of not the best because we're only going to cover two, uh, maybe three additional regions. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to place the base somewhere around here in North um, Africa. I think this is I think that's the Nile, so this is kind of in Egypt because that means we're going to cover South Africa, North Africa, I guess, uh, the Middle East, a part of Russia. Uh, or the Soviet Union, as it's called. Um, Europe as well, and probably a little bit of Indochina. Maybe? Yeah, I think just about. So, the reason for doing this is we get funding. Now, if you look, okay, so if I hover over Europe, funding level, $287,500 a month, okay? So, obviously, that's a good place to have the base, but, of course, we're going to get 200000 from North Africa, 468000 from Soviet Union, um, Middle East, 170,000, and 255,000 from Indochina, and 287,000. Now, this is, of course, if we protect them, and we'll do our best to protect them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a base there. I told you this would be hardcore, guys. I really did. Uh, and I've totally forgot to time this, so let me just get a timer. <laughs> I don't really want to make an epically long video. That would be crazy. But also beautiful, but also crazy. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to place a base there, and this is going to be called... Uh, we're just going to leave it as the North African base because that's what it is. So, uh, awesome. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the base and we're going to build some stuff because uh, I think we could probably do with maybe another, maybe a hangar and some other stuff. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hangar down. Uh, we're going to have a hangar there. 
a hangar there. It's going to take five days to obviously can compete, uh, to, to, to build. And you can see that they've got an upkeep, a refund value. So if we don't want it, we can sell it back and, and that's fine. Uh, and obviously there's a, an initial cost to put the thing down, which is $25,000. So I think we can probably get a couple of radar arrays in. Uh, I guess... Right, a base layout. I guess we can put one there as well. So two radar arrays, not bad. Um, and I believe it's probably a good idea to at least get possibly another, uh, maybe a living quarters down. I think that's, I think that's, a, no, that's a workshop. Hang on. I don't think we even have a living quarters. Okay, so we'll put a living quarters down. Unless that is? No, it's a laboratory. Okay. I think that's a living quarters, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and probably a medical center as well, which I guess we'll just stick there. All right. We don't really want to spend any more, I don't think. Like, missile batteries, I don't think we need at this moment in time because they will defend against uh, alien ships going all over the XCOM base because that would be bad. Um, all right. So what I think we probably need to do is hire more personnel. So uh, scientists. We should probably get more scientists. So we're going to hire... I th I think we could probably hire five to begin with. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of living space available and stuff. See, the reason you need scientists, guys, is because when you do um, research, which will well, I'll kind of show you here, we don't really have any research at the moment because we haven't seen any aliens or any of that stuff. Um, you, you can put a certain amount of scientists onto the research, so it uh, will obviously advance the research faster. You can spread your scientists out or really heavily focus on one sort of project if you really need it, which obviously is another layer of craze management, but, but pretty mental. Uh, I, uh, I don't know, actually, if we can get engineers until the, um, the living quarters are built. No, we need more living quarters. Okay. But they will be built pretty soon. So I think, like, I guess we'll just wait and then we'll get a couple more engineers because obviously engineers build stuff faster. You know, your facilities, your your vehicles as well because you get tanks and loads of stuff, like, which is crazy, which I really wish they put in the, the remake of XCOM. That would have been so good. Mm, all right. So I think we're probably... I've, I've actually got notes, guys. It's that crazy. This game's that hardcore. I think I'm probably going to be okay now. Uh, don't think we need to... No, I don't think it's worth me actually building any uh, interceptors because we've got two condors and I don't think we have the... Res well, we can't research anything else. We don't have any vehicles. These are our soldiers, but again, it doesn't really matter because they're just all standard. So uh, the guys who go out on the first mission should be okay. I mean, we could change their equipment, you know, give them rocket launchers or different types of, of weapons and stuff. But generally, they're kind of okay. Uh, so what we're going to do now is going to go to the Geoscape. Now, the time is not moving, okay? The date is the 1st of... Se well, it is moving, but really slow. It's the 1st of September, 1979. We're going to speed up the uh, the time. Oh, and you can actually notice that the... This is the... Oh, God, UFO detected. But what I was trying to show you guys is this is the... Um, kind of the dark side of the planet, facing away from the, uh, the sun, so it's night. So if we undertake a mission in this area, it will be a night mission, which is quite a bit more difficult because obviously view, like sight radius and range is really really gimped and oh, you know naturally it should be because it's it's pitch black all right so we've got a ufo detected it's only small okay so we know it's there and we should probably intercept it so we are going to intercept this with condor one and uh see if we can get it over in fact in fact i think we're fine I think that is engaged over land. Yeah. This is a really good option. If you actually... I mean, we've, we've called up with the UFO there, and we do have the option to tail it until over land, but it's greyed out because we're actually over land. If we shoot it down over the sea, like I said earlier, it's going to go into the sea, and we're not going to be able to actually go and attack it, which is going to be a pain in the ass. So, um, that's totally fine. We'll engage this. Now, this is the air combat, guys. This is pretty interesting. So I'm going to actually read through this just to give you an idea of what's going on. So air combat can be either auto-resolved or fought manually in Xenonauts, depending on player preference. Combat can be paused slash unpaused at any time using the spacebar. Each unit can be controlled individually, with the shaded areas representing the fire arcs of their weapons. Missiles must be in fire range and have target lock before they can fire. Okay, So you have to have target lock 
and be in range before you can fire. You can't just fire them off and, you know, hope for the best. There are up to three units on each side, so it's not just one aircraft that takes part in this. There can be multiple aircraft going around. The selected units can be given a destination or a target with left click. And unit speed can be controlled with the throttle besides the unit info, which is uh, over here, the throttle. Some types of aircraft and UFO are capable of performing an evasive role. I think these guys can perform an evasive role, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I think they can. I think that's it. Um, triggered by the icon on the info panel, uh, which dodges incoming projectiles. So we can wait and then dodge the projectile. Like, if we don't, we're going to take damage and that will be stupid. So if an interceptor is shot down uh, in air combat, it will, it will be recovered and rebuilt, but it will be out of action for a prolonged period of time. So you don't actually totally lose them. If an interceptor is badly damaged, fly it away from danger and use it uh, and use the retreat icon. So you'd have to actually fly out of the combat and retreat. But we're going to show you the combat. So if we look at this Condor, he's going to go straight towards that, which is okay. His missiles are all armed, I do believe. Yep, that's armed. Uh, that is his... Uh, well, we're just going to catch up with him. I think we'll do a little bit of a boost. A little bit of a boost. We're going at full speed. See, he's turning to meet us. Good God. And we will unload into him as soon as we get into range. But then we're going to do an evasive maneuver. Now, evasive maneuver. Oh, we missed. We took a load of damage there. Well, not that much damage, but wasn't good. So we're going to kind of turn out of that, I think. <laughs> Let's zoom in a bit so we get a better idea of what's going on. See, we're kind of faster than this guy. Let's turn back around. Our missiles are totally gone because we didn't use them properly. But it's fine. Ooh, took a little bit more damage. But I think we've almost killed it. He's a 79% heavy damage. He's dead. See, he's moving slower as well. I think we'll kill him now. Oh, baby. So, a bit rough. A bit rough. Uh, like, I totally wasted my missiles. If my missile had hit, uh, had hit we would have wrecked him really quick. So, we've shot the alien down, so we can see that's where the crash site is. So, we'll speed up the time a little bit, and we'll slow it down. Because what we need to do now is actually send somebody over there to sort this out. Uh, so, we are going to not... Uh, to be honest, we could airstrike it, but... Hmm. Uh... Uh, no, we're going to intercept it. We're not airstriking it. Uh, that, that is the Condor. So, Charlie 1, this is a Chinook or a Chinook helicopter with the uh, the guys in. I do think we can upgrade this in the future as well. So, we can see that's moving in. And it's most likely going to be a daytime mission. Yeah. Obviously, I can make sure it's a daytime mission, which would be good. Um, so, we are going to engage. Good God. And we're going to see the glorious ground combat. I mean, like I said, guys, it is this is a complicated game. It is not just all action like XCOM is. There is... A lot of management, a lot of the uh, the geoscape stuff. If you don't do it correctly or if you try and skip through it, you will actually get hammered because you won't have enough money. You'll have loads of problems. So we don't need to read that because we know what we're doing, kind of. So we are, you'll notice we've got a load of guys, way more than we would have, you know, in standard XCOM Enemy Within or... Uh, is it Enemy Unknown? I think that's what the remake's called. I always get confused. I'm going to call it Enemy Within because I know that's the, the latest expansion. Okay, so when we move, if we left click once, it's going to say that's going to... We're going to move over there and we'll have three um, TU, which I think is time units, left, which is not good because it means we can't really do anything else. So we're going to go over there and just sort of chill. We don't really need to do anything. Um, what we kind of know it's okay, so maybe we move another guy up a bit further. Also, guys, the aliens are absolutely brutal in this. Like, absolute, they will just kill you. There's no messing about. Soldiers are just going to die. Like, like they, they will die. Okay, so I think we'll send a couple of guys. We'll send four that way, and we'll send these guys uh, this way. Okay. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter about cover. Just see what our weapons are because we could kind of right we'll end turn okay so it's the aliens move i think what i'm going to do is swap a couple of these guys around because we just don't want that's a civilian by the way as well we don't want loads of guys with shotguns going this way so uh she can kind of i guess she can advance that way he can join those and we'll keep advancing up the street 
making sure we've got some sort of cover. Like a, a good tactic as well is if you think you're getting close to the aliens, you can kind of use half your movement to go and have a look and then quickly run back into cover. But we're going to make sure we're always in cover because we don't want to... Uh, or not, we'll go over there. We'd be a little bit idiotic in the first mission. <laughs> I think we'll move around this building. Oh, shit. All right, so we got a bit a bit crazed there. There's an alien over there. Basically, we've just got shot, which is not good. Um, we have three turn units available. So what we can do, because this costs three, is get down on our knee. Now, this makes us a little bit harder to hit, gives us more aim. So it's kind of the best thing to do. But you've got to remember, if you do that and you want to stand back up again, um, well, it's going to cost you another three movement points which is quite bad so we, i think there's aliens this way so we're just going to take a little look okay we'll take a little hmm okay okay well all right we've, we've kind of used his movement up there which isn't the best uh i guess if we move there we're still in cover can we make a dash for it? No. But what we'll do is we'll get down on one knee and we'll see if we can... Yeah, we'll make a dash that way and hopefully we're... Okay. Uh, but we've only got two movements. So I think we've moved everybody now, so we need to see what these aliens are going to do. Kill that guy. But he was out in the open. Ooh, shit. Alright, so we know there's two aliens. Oh, we know there's... There's an alien over here, and there's an alien over here. All right, so he just got shot, which means he's getting into cover right now. All right, he spotted the alien. Okay, so now we could shoot the alien if we wanted to, but there's only 22% chance to hit, and it's going to cost 14 um, TU, which means we can shoot twice if we wanted to. Or we could use a different type of uh, shot. So we could go for aimed, because we do have the, uh, the time units available, which is more accurate. But again, it's still pretty risky. So I think what we're going to do, because we know where he is, I'm pretty confident we can kill him. So we are going to go down on one knee. Uh, we can still take an aim shot, actually. Uh, or we could take two snapshots. Let's take two snapshots. See how our aim's gone up 26% because we're down? So we'll take two snapshots. Hey, and he, and he made it. What a hero. And we'll do that again. Awesome. That guy's a legend. What the hell? Who is that guy? Igor Fallon. He's from the Soviet Union. What a, what a legend. So, we got a kill there, which is good. Which means we're probably safe to kind of move down this way. So, we're just going to move down in full force down the street. And hope we don't find any more aliens. Because we have no movement turns available. And we're not really in cover. Alright, the next problem we've got is we know there's an alien down here. So, if we move... Ah, uh, okay. There he is. Okay, so if we just go around the corner. Oh, shit, we were lucky there. And we're going to get down on one knee. And we are going to fire into this guy. Oh, shit, but we can't. Because we don't have enough movement turns. Because this guy has a massive machine gun. So instead of firing the machine, what we're going to do is we're going to check his inventory. And I guess we can put his pistol on. We do have 15 shots with the pistol. And we can at least take a couple of shots with the pistol. It's worth it, I guess, so we're going to do that. Not very good. Uh, and we don't have the turn units. Because, of, of course, it used uh, the, the time units for changing the weapon. But I'm pretty confident we can kill him with the guys we've got available. So, if we just move out around the corner like that, we do have a shot and it's 40%. So, we're going to get down on our knees and it's got up to 48. And we're just going to... In fact, you know what? We could take an aim shot. I'm pretty sure that'll take him out, so we'll uh, go for that. <gasps> I don't believe it. Okay, get down on your knees. Let's just go for just normal shots, hey? <laughs> Actually, that's got a really low chance to hit. We could grenade him. In fact, I think we'll grenade him. You know what? Let's grenade him for the sake of it. Give me the inventory. She's going to have to... I think she will, yeah. Or not. She just can't make it. That is, that is absolutely gotten. Okay, we're going to move her into cover. Oh, God. Uh, but we kind of can't. So we'll just move her back. See, this is what I mean. It's really... It, it's not a stupid game. 
We'll move back into cover here because we can't shoot. And we'll just... Well, well, hopefully he doesn't die because he's got the machine gun. That would be quite gutting. Okay. And I think that's it. We end turn. Oh, God. Please don't die. <laughs> Fucking legend. And again. Dodge it again. <laughs> oh, baby. But, of course, like for t to equip the heavy machine gun, it's going to cost us turn units, which is, again, probably not going to mean we're not going to have enough to take him out. So... Uh, with the machine gun, because I think the machine gun would absolutely rinse the guy. Okay, let's uh, equip that back on. Yeah, 27, so we don't. So he's just going to go back into cover because he's a waste of time. Now she, uh, she's going to grenade him from there. I think she can still grenade him from there. Yeah, that's fine. Got to go for it. Because grenades are our friend, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, she can't do it. Oh, 25. I don't believe it. I need, I really need to add the turn units to pass. I'm just going to end up killing myself. Okay, well, that's going to cost 11. And I'm pretty sure we can just shoot him in the face point blank and he'll be dead. Because we do get damage modifiers for being really close. And she does have the uh, kind of sniper rifle -y version of our weapon. So, uh, yeah, we didn't add the, the, the turn units up, guys. Oh, dear. Less talk and more turn unit adding up. Because this guy, we're probably going to lose somebody now. Holy shit. Yeah, whatever. It's a catastrophe. The first mission is always a catastrophe. <laughs> now, move these guys down. Oh, God. Please miss again. He's going to... Yeah, that is... Horrendous. But what we can do is we can pick up the weapons off dead soldiers. Like, we can loot their inventory. I, I mean, like, at this point, we know he's there. So we're just going to chuck a fucking grenade at him. Because we're angry. Or do we step out? No, let's step to the side of this guy. No, face the other way, silly man. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Hiding around a corner. Oh, no. Is that... I... Yeah. Shit. Shit. I think I've just threw that onto myself. Well, she's only got nine turn units, so she's just going to get down into cover and hope for the best. He is like... He's going to do that as well, because he's going to try and kill this alien. But this is a really... This is quite bad off me. I do apologise, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're just going to like... We're going to... We're going to just... Uh, we're going to just go there. Ah, so we found the alien ship. This is good news. Uh-oh. Okay, so we've seen an alien there. We can definitely get down on one knee, and we can just take a normal shot. Well, that's only 13%. That's not that good. Let's move in. Okay. So we've got 25 uh, time units left, which is not going to be enough to equip and throw the grenade. We do have a better chance of hitting him, but we're going to get down on one knee, and I guess we're going to take the shot because... Well, why not? We're not pretty good. We can't do it again, though. We do not have the turn units. Uh, so that's going to be 14... Yeah. Which should mean... Oh, he's blocked. Ah, but I think she could fire, which I believe that would take... Oh, no. It would take 15 anyway, so she couldn't fire. Uh, all right. So she, instead, she could just throw a flashbang at the guy. No, she can't. She has no... T ah! Right, get down on your knee. And, and, and pray. Okay. Uh, we'll be blocked by our own guys if we go there. Uh guess we just move in. I hope for the best. Okay, so we know there's two aliens here. Uh, oh, we've got to end up there. That was my grenade going off. Like a cabbage. It just went off there. <laughs> but we got away with it. But he's suppressed, though, which isn't good. Because he's going to take loads of... Please. Oh, shit. Okay. There are aliens there as well. Uh, I think we forgot about a guy. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, well, he's got the... There's aliens behind him, which is really bad. Why? He, he's... Oh, he's suppressed. That's why he's... Okay, so... Um... I don't think this alien's going to take any kind of reaction shots against us because he actually fired like a mental. But we do have to equip our weapon again, which is... Uh... Oh, oh, I wonder what that was. 
I, that's because we're on the corpse of the person who died. But she wants a shotgun. Okay, so to fire the shotgun, it's going to take 15. Okay. To move there, it's going to take leave us with 21. So I hope she doesn't get shot. There we go. Should be a kill. Okay, awesome. All right, so, but we know that there are guys over there. So we're going to start running uh, as much as we can. Okay. This guy. Well, we really need to kill this guy. She can't move for some reason. 41% chance to hit. If we go normal, take it. Okay, awesome. Right, now these guys do not need to be that close to that because that's just going to be stupid. I don't know why that's orange, actually. Oh, it's because he's in... Um... Oh, yeah, okay. No, yeah, fine, I understand. I was kind of getting confused with that. Okay, that's putting TU into reserve, I think. Oh, yeah. So, actually, I've been playing this wrong all the time. I, I thought that was actually giving me better aim. I wondered why it wasn't giving me better aim. Uh, I kind of... Okay, well, we need to use that a bit more so we know we've got... Like, we need to always make sure we can snap fire when we move, I think. At least. But we need to break the door down because there are aliens in there, ladies and gentlemen, and we need to kill these aliens. So we're going to just like, well, uh, we'll step forward. We'll go down. Well, we will next turn. I think three is going to be enough to deal with what's going to come out of there. This guy is going to kind of make his way around the side. It needs to be on snap fire as well. Well, reserve for snap fire. Okay, whatever. End turn. Okay, okay. Good God, it's getting it's getting tense. Oh my God. I said this would be a quick video and it's going pretty long, but I do want to show you a complete kind of day in the life of Xenonauts. Oh God, what was that? You know what? We're going to put them all on snap reserve. Apart from him, because he can't. Uh... Slowly move forward. Okay. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to throw a grenade at the door to hopefully smash it open. He's not going to do it, though. Uh, I think he's got a grenade. Yeah, he's going to lob the grenade at the door. In fact, no, he, he's going to do it. So he's just going to step back. And then he's, she's going to equip a... Oh, no, she can't because she's a fucking medic as well. Ah! Uh, whatever. Turn this way. Get down on your knees. You know what she could probably do with giving herself the med pack, but we are solid. We do not care about the med pack. And we shall throw a nade at the door. Awesome. And then we will attempt to equip our weapon, but we can't. This guy, um, Igor, who's an absolute legend, he's slowly moving around to see what he can see. Okay. We'll take his reserve off. In fact, having the reserve on is kind of a little bit annoying because it means we can't sit down, I guess. Okay. So. Uh, I guess we're shooting the door then, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look at that businessman. I mean, what the hell? I would have left a long time ago. So a long, long time ago. Oh, Christ, she's bleeding. That's what that message was. Yeah, so maybe we should... Uh... She should totally give herself the med kit. <laughs> there you go, love. You'll be fine. Uh, I think she can do it again, actually. And again. No. Oh, no, I think she can. And it costs two. No, or not. Okay, whatever. Uh, th that's fine. No, uh, yes, well done. Good show. Uh, I'd like you to equip a weapon. I'd like you to shoot the door. Uh... Nope. Fire, yes. It will, it will break, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me. 
I think gunfire will break it, and you do not need grenades. <laughs> uh, all right, so. Oh, we know there's something around here. Come on, Igor, you're going to find him. Come on, son. I just maybe put him on snap. There's alien blood there. This guy's killed an alien, I think. Maybe, maybe the alien is dead. Whoa, it's getting tense. Oh shit, an alien came out. Fuck. Reaction shot, baby. Now, as far as I'm aware, the way the reaction shots work, <laughs> there's like a super red shirt alien. Is if you've got movement turn left enough, they will take a reaction shot. Like, you can't put people on Overwatch, I don't think. Okay. Oh, okay, so he's actually dead. I think the civilian maybe killed him. Okay, well... These guys are never going to get over there, but we just... Like, we should be able to kill both of them before they get over there. But we'll keep them moving because, uh, well, why not? Okay, so there's two aliens left. I mean, they're right in our face, so we're just going to fucking wreck them. Okay, he says. She needs to equip a weapon. Uh, she's not going to wreck anyone. 30%, 58%. Although, uh, no, you don't want to shoot your own guy. Uh, that's only a 90% chance. Although, he can, she, he can move in. it, Yeah, he's going to move in. So, kill him, please. Awesome. Now, he's going to move in. Uh, because he's saving for snapshot. Uh, which is going to cost 14, I think. So, he's just totally going to move in. And gun this alien down. <laughs> oh, Lord. I think we've done it. Awesome. So, we've, we, we've won. So, we've got a load of stuff. So, we've got a load of... Uh, well, I say we've got a load of promotions. We don't. We have... Um, I think that means that accuracy in and such has increased um, but obviously we can see people are injured for 17 days uh, 13 days because of any I mean look at that it's only a little bit of damage but it, they really do get injured and she died unfortunately she was a sniper um, and we kind of left the stuff on the floor which is like well whatever uh, um, we killed all the aliens though we didn't lose well we got two xenonaut casualties oh actually we killed, two guys got killed okay um, local forces survived and civilians survived which is good um we found a load of stuff, which has been sent to the research division, which is going to mean... And we actually made 27,000 quid from random stuff we picked up on the mission. Now we've got new research available, okay? So this means we can do alien plasma rifle, alien plasma pistols, or alien alloys. Um, and I think we're probably... Yeah. Well, the question is, what do we do first? I mean, if we go to the research center... I, I mean, I guess we could work on... Mm, I think that allows us to build armor. Pistol probably is the best thing to do because that's going to mean we're going to have a, uh, a weapon available earlier. Um, oh, that actually allows us to improve infantry armor as well. So you know what? Whatever, we're going to commence that and we're going to put all the goddamn guys onto it. Uh, yeah, we don't want people on that. People on this. Awesome. Uh, and we're still waiting for the base construction to finish. Because that's going to be a few more days, actually. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it at that, guys. If you want me to continue this Let's Play, then please like the video. Because if it's a, if, it, if it's popular and such, I will continue it. Comment below as well. But it is a very, very hardcore game. There will be a lot of mistakes made. It will not be the typical crazy high-energy unit lost Let's Play. Because for starters, there's only me. And it is a. It, this is not a game you can be stupid on. <laughs> okay? Alright, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. I've been Silo. So this is Unit Lost. And this is Xenonauts. I'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo.